All right, here we go. This is a rank 3v3 on Veil between the green team in the bottom left-hand corner, Zorex in the green sea bomber, Dude9599 in the Easter Osprey, and Sandwich4 in the Steampunk Helix, and their opponents, the Carbon team, the orange team in the upper right-hand corner, Eagle Shadow in the Deep Sea Osprey, Mech Black in the Beta Bomber, and Fnu in the Steampunk in the Steampunk Neo, and this is kind of a new thing here, guys, because 3v3 has a, I don't know, kind of recently been re-enabled um, over 2v2 matchmaking, and Vale has not been uh, ever, uh, you know, and it never will be, I would assume, um, in the 2v2 matchmaking pool. Um, and uh, it is it is in the 3v3 pool, and Zorex uh, immediately going for a defense, patrolling Jackals uh, for an outpost defense, and Fnu actually doing a quick scout, looking for what is defending and what's not, uh, patrolled oh, and going straight for a, a defense actually with with a, with that Longhorn being dropped at his right close. But now we do have infantry here dropped at, and a Longhorn as well, trying to get this outpost ninja, but there are so much defense going down, a lot of Jackals, a lot of Longhorns, uh, you know, and there's not really enough there. A single artillery was, I guess, in queue for someone, um, but an Eagle Shadow actually was able to take out Sandwich, but no, uh, you know, not enough here. Drop to get a complete neutralization and uh, definitely not enough for uh, to, for it to be taken. Zorex dropping a couple jackals here as well. Not going to get that neutralized and does get killed by the ground units there. And Mechlack here with his bomber will be able to finish the jackals off. So two quick harassment, kind of cheese attempts. Not really full cheese though just because uh, it wasn't really like there was a longhorn drop here and a couple jackals dropped at the top. It wasn't really kind of kind of the typical definition of, of what you would consider a cheese and Eagle Shadow getting taken down there by dude. Uh, so everything has been kind of thwarted here. Mech Black quickly trying to drop some creeps here at the mid as well. The, at, at Green's mid, um, getting finished off there and uh, new forced to retreat back. So no one has been able to actually successfully take an outpost, really, uh, in terms of the early game. And Fnu now, I guess, socketing some, uh, no, just dropping some rebels on uh, on patrol defense. Once again, patrol being really a, a, a popular way to uh, set your outpost defense. And Sandwich now does see that this mid is completely bare, so I would expect him maybe to, oh no, he only has Seekers in queue. I guess putting him down here it prevents a little bit of mech moneymaker harass or something like that. Um, and in the meantime, Zorex trying to bomb does finish off. Two of these Longhorn Mech Black, not, Mech Black not able to thwart him away before he's able, able to actually get this. And we do see Orange going for that upper left-hand corner there, that factory. Um, and uh, that is uh, that is one way that you can really uh, get the... Uh, Get, get power in this in this map, on this map, just going for corners. Uh, but we do see Zorax here with two Jackals uh, going for this uh, this power station and Dude9599 with probes as well. Uh, those probes probably won't survive if any of the uh, if any of the orange players do. Okay, they do kill those probes, but these Jackals have done a great job actually neutralizing this outpost. Um, and Zorax actually almost going to get finished off, probably going to get finished off by that Longhorn. Does get killed on the ground actually by Fnu and that EMP got probably finished off, but Dude with more probes has actually been able to take this power station, and uh, and yeah, they uh, they have been able to uh, to grab this sandwich with a couple of defensive jack jackals, and it's gonna be really hard for Re for Carbon for the orange team to really take this outpost back. They don't really have much here left. There's just a couple of random creeps going down, Eagle, but they have been able to manage to neutralize this outpost. Uh, rebels going down, so that's really great counter to those Jackals. Zorax actually killing the Jackals, but more Rebels coming up, so those will survive for a very long time. Zorax getting finished off on the ground by Fnu, uh, and Sandwich and Dude are not able to really take this too much. Uh, Eagle Shadow thwarting away all the other, uh, the green mechs, but Sandwich now with three, three more infantry, and uh, will probably be able to, no, none of, none of them actually go in lightning bulbs. Uh, these surrounding jackals are pr pretty much killed. Uh, this has gone back up to orange and uh, now uh, <laughs> and this this mid has been taken back by the orange team. Um, and at this point we do see Sandwich looking at the bottom right hand corner um, and uh, Dude 9599 dropping. What did he drop? That was a single archer. He does notice that uh, I'm not really sure if he was aware that the orange is starting to take this upper left hand factory here. Uh, but he dropping that artillery, probably trying to start an attack. Uh, at, oh, and he says top corner. I don't know if he's no. Okay, yeah, definitely not. Not gonna be able to really fight off 
the orange team here sitting over here and dude getting chased by new in that neo uh almost getting killed but dude does land in time but new finishing him off on the ground with that emp super awesome looking explosion and new will be able to take care of this last artillery and in the meantime sandwich now looking at that corner and uh and oh and apparently zorex is afk oh man i guess he did this is a ranked match that really uh, that kind of sucks so uh i i mean now that the, these two players are gonna have to fight off in a, a completely you know a three person very very skilled team very very experienced and right now mechlack trying to get that kill doesn't go straight for a moneymaker actually kind of hesitating there getting finished off forced to land because he was very low in life getting chased off or chased away by dude and uh yeah needed to stay out and i guess that uh i, I guess one of the players said that they have gens um, or, 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 or that, that Zorax has gents. Oh, Zorax now is back, gets finished off, uh, Eagle Shadow gets finished off by Sandwich there. Uh, but green, but the orange team has been able to take this top left factory corner. Top left factory corner, whatever. But Fnu does realize that green team is starting to work in this bottom corner. That's pretty much it. If you can't uh, ninja any of the uh, outposts here, uh, actually a couple rebels um, dropped by the, the orange team, but Sandwich is here to respond, so that isn't really going to get too far to begin with. And Eagle Shadow here, almost getting finished off here. Yeah, oh, oh kind of gets away, but Dude and Zorax both follow him into the air. And Zorax is going to be able to finish off the rest of these Longhorn. Fnu is still over here in the area, but uh, does finish off. Dude, wow, in that retreat is able to get him out uh to get him out get him killed and mechlack now starting on the, their side the orange orange new oranges side neutrals and new doing the same thing back down here with two rebels and one longhorn we're gonna be able to finish off these on the back uh the back is kind of the uh the not the common area so i if i were the orange team i would have started you know up on the top here and just concentrate as much as possible but now uh, a couple infantry going down by green team green team not gonna be able to get this quite oh no three more going in they will be able to grab this let's see if they will be able to hold it um eagle shadow and mechlack are are both here to contest uh, and if new where is new new was killed so knows now Zorax with only two bulbs up and like desperately trying to get this neutralized almost getting it completely neutralized there's only two there was only one bulb up there but Mechlack does get finished off there is no more orange prisons down here so I do think that dude and Zorax are gonna be able to secure this very well uh, dude with a couple of defensive probes is gonna be able to relight those bulbs so now let's see where uh, where orange team is gonna decide to focus their attack next it is a very very balanced map at this point new trying to get a moneymaker finished off does actually finally get it a couple infantry going down over here but there's a lot of defense over at this at this power station so i don't think that that orange is really gonna be able to successfully do this especially green team obviously does see them does come to respond zorex randomly dropping bombs i guess trying to hit eagle shadow but uh, eagle shadow kind of was right up next to the outpost so zorex was not able to get that but eagle shadow trying to run away uh instead of walking away on the ground does fly away with a bunch of mechs here it, uh, you know a couple of them in the air so not really get that productive new trying to kill these gemini blocking the uh these this open area that's uh you know the, the path to the next outpost uh, but not able to do it does get finished off by Zorex in that retreat and now sandwich doing a quick scout every single outpost here on this map is very well defended this one's very well covered oh we do see a rebel push coming out but the problem with Vale is that uh, T push doesn't really work too well you will see you start to split there's only four waypoints per outpost which is really really not enough especially on a map this huge as you can see these two rebels are going out this way so the rebel procession that was sent out by orange team has been shut down over here eagle shadow trying to do what he can but in the air no, no units over here uh, and, and Zorax getting a dominating finishing off eagle shadow there uh but yeah once again with not too much unit support and osprey isn't really that amazing new okay uh, does force is forced to land away but dude and zorax are both here doing the high low Z zorax bombing down new with very very little life left probably will get finished off here does have a little bit enough energy to, to cloak away but zorax finishing him off in the air there and now once again very balanced map very very well defended outposts uh this one has a lot of patrolling rebels over here this one's surrounded by heavy tanks this one is surrounded by heavy tanks as well zorix trying to bomb what he can with no orange team here responding to him does get one longhorn killed uh i mean it's one longhorn sure but it, it, you know every single one does count you we will you pretty much will see a lot of uh, uh of units getting thrown away because you will have a lot of power especially on this map with a lot of sockets um so uh, i mean you don't have enough, a lot of power excuse me you won't have a too much power here uh, especially with a money maker heavy uh, you know game state of game here and dude salvaging a dead orange tank getting chased away by mech black but every single once again every single credit count Zorix here uncontested no one responding here does kill the generator and we do see Eagle Shadow and uh, I guess that was new there at the bottom with a longhorn drop they, it's such 
a long oh and, and Zorax finishing off Eagle Shadow before he gets to this uh, this this green fort and a bunch of jackals and longhorn going down for blocking. So uh, a, a, a green a little bit behind just because of those drops. Oh and we do see Mech Black. Oh no no setting a Goliath uh, uh, way behind these other units. So the Goliath will be lagging way behind there. Um, you know sometimes a lot of people just send a Goliath on Y or T. And, as, and uh, you know, link a bunch of stuff to it just because the Goliath is the slowest thing. You want it in the lead, taking all that damage. Like, for example, this Longhorn's gonna get quite a lot of damage as well, uh, you know, tacked on it as well. Zorax with a bunch of Jackal drops. Oh, he will get this neutralized. Uh, so, this, uh, th this just needs a couple of infantry. Uh, you know brought up by any of the fellow green team members Zorak killing what he can here But there is so many uh, orange units and in the meantime There is still this massive tank push but dude and sandwich does do you know They have seen it ahead of time and so they have a nice defensive Line of Longhorn sitting over here and probably will be able to finish off the rest of the orange units that have been sent over and uh, and uh, at this point there is a uh, is um uh, all of the all of the green units that were dropped at this upper left hand corner have been shut down have been uh, have been taken care of um, and uh, and uh, th this this tank push has been k killed as well um, and now new cloaking behind enemy lines does get a final hole uh, gets this longhorn past and it is hitting the fort uh, does fly away before he's actually responded to uh, that that longhorn actually was killed by the enemy units that were guarding there already um and that was kind of weird. I'm not really sure why, uh, uh, how that got killed so fast. I guess it was kind of defended fairly well. So that was uh, just not a response at all by any of the green team members at Pnu. Doing a really good job. You doing the Neo's job. You know, cloaking behind enemy lines, killing the uh, all the uh, enemy units, and getting you know, getting getting uh, socket units as well. Socket units very very. Oh, but dude. With a four drop here, right at the front door, repositioning extremely well. Nothing, no blocking units going down by any of the orange team. Uh, a couple now, finally, Eagle Shadow with a couple Longhorn. Uh, but dude, now you know with free reign all the way around, this is a completely unguarded outpost. No AA, no T99s, no Seekers, no nothing. Just those dropped, uh, th those dropped blocking Longhorn. And dude will probably be able to get away. No, now will be followed by this this uh, this orange team. Uh, kind of high load, but now with a great transform timing, is going to be able to get away there. And now uh, that you know. The Osprey was not able to chase the Osprey, even though the slowdown, the the, the fire slowdown, isn't that huge for the Osprey. Uh, it, it, it is subs, you know enough such that another Osprey is trying to chase it won't really be enough. And uh, Sandwich does say that helices do suck at moving. Yeah, they are the slowest in the air when not firing. The slowest firing mech, uh, not considering tap firing, is the Warthog, but. Just uh, just plain air movement is strictly the 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 helix is the slowest air movement mech right now, and we do have a little bit more of the same stalemate. Veil with veil with so many outposts uh, with a large outpost, you know, a large distance post to post that it's really hard to just ninja or uh, you know do do quick harassment tactics. So what you what you will kind of see is maybe uh, you know distraction pushes on top of normal pushes and mech black getting followed there by enemy units and uh, getting getting finished off and uh, dude getting finished off by Eagle Shadow but oh Zorax almost getting finished off by by Eagle and Eagle uh, transforming here oh gets face to face with the Seeker really low on health and does get finished off and that does give Zorax a little bit of freedom to uh, find something to bomb does decide to go for this Longhorn I uh, will yeah he will be able to get it no one is over here to respond and Orange has pretty much been cleared away completely at this outpost and Zorax I would expect no does not come with neutralization units um, is does have soldiers in queue so he is just gonna finish off this this rebel and uh, drops that longhorn or those bombs there on that outpost. Um, in the meantime, there is a little bit of uh, creep harassment here by by green team, but. Uh, Zorax with there is no more orange units here at this corner so orange will definitely lose this new does not come back in time to respond to be able to actually grab that and a lot of defense going down patrolling jackals everywhere Zorax with a lot of jackals and longhorn going down for a defense as well so uh, now 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 orange team has three less sockets and green team has three more sockets so if you can if you think about it it's like having a six socket swing here um, and they do call out for gens, I guess. I think that was Dude calling out for gens. He says three gens and one in the bottom corner. 
Um, and there is, uh, there, yeah, this this one, I guess the one difference is this is one. And dude, just call up for help. Let's see what he's talking about. Oh, there is a, a, a four Goliath push over here. And uh, they, it is going for this power station. It, it, that is very, very dangerous. These, uh, oh, but these Goliaths are splitting. Once again, the waypoint problem here on this map. This, this Goliath is going off to the side. I don't think that orange team is going to really, uh, going to really notice that. And uh, a couple Jackals going down probably for neutralization, but I don't think they're going to survive very long at all. Uh, all the green mechs are sitting over here. Um, and, uh, oh, actually, two of them have been killed. Dude is the only one over here. Uh, I, oh, man, if, if, uh, if the rest of the orange, orange team here supports this attack, then they probably will be able to get this neutralized and, and actually, uh, and actually cleared, um, and may maybe even claim for themselves. A lot of defensive infantry going down by dude. Uh, you know, probes are, it is pretty much the prime unit for that. And just because of that, they, they have been able to prevent the neutralization. And a lot of the blue, or not blue, but a lot of the orange units have been killed. Uh, I have decided to go with orange, guys, just because the bulb color on the carbon color team is orange. So that is the most, you know, that is the most direct way to point out that uh, uh, bulbs are up or down or whatnot in Zorex. Uh, and dude, trying to finish off, but Zorex actually landing the, the one turn to the high low, but, and Mech Black does get back to his outpost, but all those, that, that, uh, you know, all that, the, all those units have kind of been killed. Uh, this has been neutralized, but once again, a couple of infantry going down for the green team. Um, oh, and a random stasis mine here that, you know, a lot stasis mines, you know, really, really, uh, uh more common nowadays, especially in 3v3, especially in high-level 3v3, just because if you can use them effectively, which a lot of people have been doing nowadays, uh, it's it just really, really awesome. Shuts down pushes like nobody's business, and Sandwich getting a double kill there on Mech Black and Eagle Shadow. Uh, knew the only one here left, but then, you know, not going to be enough. Forced to, to land in Cloak away, um, and landing way out, and, you know, he has very, he has level 2 efficiency on that Cloak, so he will be able to stay here pretty much forever, and uh, does fly away and get back to his outpost before he gets finished off. But once again, now, it is a 220 to 105 upkeep difference. They, that green team has double the upkeep, uh, you know, double the upkeep, and, and pretty much double the units that, uh, actually, in terms of unit count, it's more than double. And as you can see, it's 84 to 31 at the top there. Uh, and oh, who was that? Sandwich did get a rampage on Mech Black. Uh, that, that, that did trigger it. So Sandwich, I guess, has it been killed for quite a while. Nuke trying to get Zordex here in the air, but the dogfighting, uh, the, you know, the aim really isn't there. But a couple Jackals trying to contest a bunch of Rebels. Not really going to be able to do it here at this close mid here on the orange team, on the orange side. So right now, uh, the, you know, the, the, the green obviously has a humongous advantage with both corners, with three more, with you know, six more sockets than the uh, than the than the orange team, and a lot of rebel harass going down here. They oh, I do think this probably will go neutral. Eagle Shadow, I don't think has oh, he does have probes in queue though, but not enough. The bulbs go just go down so fast. Um, it had enough on the field actually to retake this outpost, and most of the jackal threat has been killed. Rebels, such a good uh, unit to put down in defense just because they are so strong against both jackals and zippers the only thing is they're just not strong uh not not as effective against longhorn and mechs so you know every single unit has their drawbacks every single unit has their advantages i um, you know stronger against others weaker against other things uh good for certain situations bad for others and that is you know the the awesome development of air mech is you can see variety of loadouts such such nice diverse loadouts that we have been seeing in recent you know in recent patches um, everything has pretty much become viable virtually everything uh, there's a certain obvious things that aren't really too viable in competitive play but right now we do have quite a variety of units here on the field uh, jackals rebels dillos um, oh actually do we have dillos I'm not even sure I don't actually think there are any dillos in anyone's loadout okay Zorex does have it but I don't think that he has any on the field getting finished off by new there and actually off cam dude did finish off Mech Black. A single Goliath here for some strange reason, but we are already at high level creep time. Uh, we are in quarter four. Sandwich almost getting finished off by creeps there, but all but does get back, does fly away in time. Can outrun missiles. You can obviously outrun missiles uh, uh, from level four creeps and pretty much anything except for um, no, actually, if you're in the air, you can outrun any missiles regardless of the mech. As long as you're not shooting, I think I think uh, shooting Helix or Warthog will probably not outrun Seeker missiles. Uh, don't take my word on that, but I think that is the case. Um, and, uh, whoa, we do see a quick scout by Eagle Shadow, but there is, see, once again, too many defenses everywhere. There is nothing that can be easily quickly hit, so I would expect to see uh, units being saved up by one of the teams, uh, usually in secret, especially at this level. 
at this level of play, you will see kind of more of a secret push, uh, units hidden somewhere or uh, just in queue, not actually directly out on the field. So they, you know, you would see some kind of surprise push or at least. But the problem is here on Vale, it's really, really easy to scout stuff. New, try, uh, almost getting a, uh, yeah, okay, uh, dude, trying to stock. Stock new, stock new, but with the other two mechs here in support, it do, does scare dude away from that fight. And new again with these, this uh, socket harass. You know, if you are okay, once if you are Neo, if you have pretty much nothing to do and you have bombs in your loadout, which I highly recommend if you're Neo. Oh, and Mech Black getting finished off by Sandwich. Sandwich doing such a good job killing off all these, all, all you know, all the opponents mechs and just dogfighting with a helix of all things i mean helix are actually if you can really use it right can really get a lot of kills it has surprising chase ability and uh mech black says has left the game trying to fake out <laughs> trying to fake out the green team into thinking that they have uh they have left that, that someone has left but you know experienced players on both sides you're not really gonna get that amount of deception a uh, couple of random jackals here trying to yeah, actually successfully distracting this orange team forcing three longhorn for the price of two jackals um, going down here that is that is pretty much almost always worth it if you can force uh, or I guess if you can get your opponent to overcommit on the defense which pretty much just happened right there three longhorn is definitely not necessary to kill two jackals at a fort at a fort you can pretty much just sit there yourself because the jackals are not really gonna put enough damage on you or on your fort to really you know concern yourself too much and do dropping too longhorn way behind enemy lines I yeah, that is a little bit dangerous sandwich here to reposition um, almost gonna get finished off in the air uh, those seekers are there and Eagle Shadow does finish him off on the ground uh, I'm not really sure if sandwich was killed with you know in the meantime between now and the uh, that rampage but uh, if he wasn't that definitely ended it there um, and uh, these units, these these randomly dropped units for green team haven't really successfully done too much. And dude, now getting dominated, killing Mech Black there in the air. Um, but Zorax, uh, oh, oh, they're trying to do some bombing runs and actually has bombs himself. Let's see if he's actually effective. These there are a lot of Bertha sitting over here, almost finishing off. Oh, that, that seeker does go down, but Zorax super low on life. New does he is here for that stock, but Zorax with a great transform timing and uh, does uh, transform away from New and does survive that attack. Uh, and Zorax is again attacking here uh, with, you know, double bomb, that multi-bomb method that you see from bombers a lot because you can stay in the air and continue putting that damage down, albeit not as fast, not as high DPS as just dropping the bomb unit. But the, the fact that you don't have to land, oh, and new killing Zorax in the air. But yes, the fact that you don't have to land, it's just so good. And it's just really, really effective. And Sandwich, oh, why did Sandwich lift off? He could have walked in circles, walked away there. I guess he was maybe expecting Fnu to uh, land with an EMP or, you know, with that stasis. But did not actually do that. Eagle Shadow, wow, getting <laughs> just getting finished off there on the ground. And Zorax going to be able to body block and kill the rest of these Longhorn. Um, and new uh, with with rebels, I I don't actually think this is gonna really do too much. Uh, they really need to work as a team and do simultaneous drops. Uh, but you know, if they're not on VOIP, it's really really hard. If you have a coordinated team, guys, it makes so much difference. Get on Mumble, get on Skype, get on something. Uh, use teamwork. Teamwork is insanely amazing in Air Mac. Uh, you know, a mid-level team or even a low-level team that has teamwork can pretty much you know run circles. You know, if, if obviously the teamwork is done properly, but if you know if they know how to use teamwork properly in Air Mac, you know, a difference in skill just not necessarily vanishes, but is significantly diminished just because you can kind of turn. A, uh, a one person effort in just three times as strong if you can coordinate properly mech back trying to do bombing runs or you know a bombing concentration but getting finished off in the air by those seekers and new almost getting finished off has zero energy left does have enough to run away uh oh it has to transform down and and now zorex trying to finish him off on the ground oh and new with a great uh, circle around that outpost and transform timing is able to get back for that that recharge and just still dropping rebels keeping the pressure on the green team uh when you are behind if you can keep the pressure on the uh, on the uh, enemy team, that is definitely worth it. Just so the attack doesn't go down on your side, where they already have the economical advantage. Mech Black getting finished off by Zorax. Oh, actually, the units got the kill there, but Zorax with the majority of the damage there. Uh, I would probably credit the kill to him there. And Sandwich almost getting no, not getting too finished, but gets scared away, gets thwarted away by that fire from Fnu. Fnu, I have actually casted a couple of games uh, with Fnu recently, and I must say that he is, uh, you know, I, I know that Fnu. 
who is an extremely experienced player. I'm pretty sure he was here since Alpha. And uh, yes, it's just uh, I, I don't know if he's actually in any factions, but uh, you know, if, if, if no one's picked him up yet, I would you know I highly recommend this guy just from watching his play. It's extremely skilled. And right now, Mechlack finishing off that last uh, jackal, but this outpost is has gone up to green. Uh, you know, I don't really agree with that dropping and attacking there. There was it, it was just so surrounded by uh, by orange units that he really didn't have to contribute his own fire. And uh, you know, as you can see, this this area right here is kind of less defended than the rest, but there are. Are patrolling rebels so that will distract those jackals but yeah if you can find an open hole an open side of an outpost then that is definitely worth trying to drop a neutralize uh, or even dropping your own air mech you know landing and, and attacking yourself might actually be worth it um oh wow what what is happening here my my input has just been cut off from the game that was very 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 weird uh, but right now, uh, oh, okay, so right now we do have uh, Sandwich almost getting killed. Uh, it does get high low, does get EMP'd, and gets finished off on the ground by Eagle Shadow there. Dude, trying to follow back Pnu, but not really actually going to be able to get him there. Um, oh, actually did get him. Whoa, what, what, what was my, what's with my judgment there, Derp Derp? Um, but now, dude, uh, I, I mean, I guess he's going all the way back. And look at this massive Goliath line. We are in overtime, too, so I guess this is when dude has decided to strike. This will be extremely telegraphed if any of the, the, uh, the orange team does see it. And I would assume that someone will see it. Um, you know, just because mech radar ranges are so large, they will start to see a procession of, of units. I would hope to see on green side, especially from dude here, that, okay, he does have a large accompaniment of Seekers with these with these Goliaths coming up to the top. Um, and Meglak here, uh, and uh, actually all three of the green players, were, or orange players, were desperately trying to deal with Zorak's attack here at the fort, but once again, we do see a massive Goliath and Seeker push here uh, from Dude, and I don't see this being stopped, actually. Uh, a lot of Goliaths sent down here from uh, from Orange Team trying to get this this factory, and actually uh, actually outnumber most of the green units over here. Uh, this really needs to be supported by the, the, the Orange Team, but with no one here, really, uh, the green team's going to be able to easily clean up the, the units with no mech support. I, I, I don't know why they didn't support this push. They, that is really, really important. They have been able to get it neutralized. Is Fnu going to be able to get any infantry over here? No. There is only uh, only Fnu. Oh, Fnu is now trying to deal with these Goliaths. Uh, it obviously does sense the danger that those Goliaths present. I mean, now Eagle Shadow with Rebels. I would kind of, you know, recommend this continue with the, out, the attack at this outpost. But instead, he is going for this one. Uh, I, he might be able to get this neutralized, but he didn't set them on T, so they aren't prioritizing that outpost. I think that's actually what happens. Uh, but if new uh, or Eagle Shadow getting finished off on the ground there. Uh, by those by those enemy units and now dude supporting this push this is a massive Goliath push with a lot of seekers a couple of them I think have been killed but just definitely not enough new did get finished off on the ground there he is respawning right now uh, I would spend a little bit of credits on on respawn time but this Goliath push is approaching and uh, Orange's fort is getting hit not too much uh, life left and I do sense the end of game is approaching there are a lot of Goliaths still coming along with Seekers and Ratchets to heal Eagle Shadow body blocking to the best of his ability but this will be the end of the game Green team with the victory. Mech Black, uh, or, or, or over Orange team. Zorex, Zoo9599, and Sandwich4 have been able to take this rank 3v3 on Bale over Eagle Shadow, Mech Black, and Nu. Um, you know, every outpost really defended throughout the entire game. Uh, the, uh, a lot of bombing runs by Zorex was able to clear that top factory, that top left factory. And, uh, oh, you know, of units, and it was never really responded to by any of the orange teams, so he was able to eventually grab that, and I do think that started the end of the game for orange team, and that massive Goliath push, as we just saw by dude, was enough to be able to finish off the, com you know, completely finish off orange's health. And so this victory does go to the green team. If you have any replays to send to me because you think a game that you played was awesome or spectated was awesome as well, give get, send me that replay. Shoot it over at to ruy0x at gmail.com or message me at rui on Steam. Um, I am most of the day in the Airmec Steam chat, or you can just PM me if you'd like. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're a two-star Maverick, I'd like to see your replays as well. This is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.